So if you have placed your TV close to the stove, you can barely hear the blower noise, but you do have the ability to lower and increase your blower voltages. By simply depressing the left arrow, you can come down to number four blower voltage and hit your left arrow. That will allow you to change your voltages on your blower assembly. So if I'm on level one and I want to decrease it, I highlight it and then I go down to whatever level that I want to go down to, decreasing the noise level of the blower. But you do not want to go too far as you'll mess up the efficiency of the stove. So we like to keep level one at 100 volts on level two 105, three 105, four 105, and five 115. Auto clean system. Every 60 minutes, the stove will stop feeding for 30 seconds. That allows the pot time to get cleaned by itself. Every hour, it turns off the feeding principle for 30 seconds. Your stove may be in Celsius or Fahrenheit. To change it, simply depress the left arrow. You'll either have an F or a C for a Celsius. So make sure it's on Celsius or Fahrenheit. Simply hit your left arrow to lock it in and then your U-turn button. Now your stove will be reading the Fahrenheit. Now that the stove has been on a while, you'll notice that the igniter symbol has turned off. Your exhaust motor continues to stay on even after the stove is turned off for another 30 minutes. Your flashing symbol is your auger feeding, which comes off and on. The middle symbol is like a hair dryer is your room blower fan. Your V is your vacuum switch. If your front door is open um, or your burn pot is not in place or the vacuum is not reading, it will not show a V and it will not allow the feeding to take place. Same with your hopper lid switch. If you open the lid, the L will disappear and your auger stops feeding. Then on the bottom right, it'll say on or off. If you turn your unit off, just make sure that it does say off on the bottom right. 